So I haven't really uh, done a lot of the tutorial for this because it's quite similar to a lot of the outfits that we've done on it's many nice occasions. It's nice to see the finished result though. Hmm? It's nice to see the finished result. Uh, yeah, though. it's nice to see finished results and some parts of it where people will... Okay, so I'm just going to join it at the neckline and I'm going to explain. I've done uh, the borders, uh, borders for to attach at the bottom of the hemline. One of the things that a lot of uh, people struggle with, and I actually had this a question posed, sent to me yesterday by one of the members, where she's having problems with sleeves. So I'm just going to attach this and I'm going to talk a little bit about the sleeves. Okay, so this is just a bias cut piece. I'm just going to attach this on the neckline You know, there's another very interesting fact, uh, Sakina. You know, uh, people often forget that how much our families are actually mixing with Western, you know, with intermarriages and so on. Uh -huh. I mean, like with personally my family, um, I've got quite a few intermarriages. My own son is married to an English girl. My nephew is married to an English girl uh, and uh, you know these uh, these marriages took place of their own accord so and then uh, you know these marriages alhamdulillah are working really well and uh, obviously there's a reason for that these girls are not forced into anything they have come into our families and they like something and they can't even comprehend now you know having a life away from that and it puts an obligation on us as well that we have to address their needs and I, some, I or other, especially at the beginning I found this quite challenging you know uh, finding the extra time and uh, it's like bringing up a new ch uh, you know a baby uh -huh. in the family you know looking after their needs and so on whereas my daughter-in-laws who are from Pakistan it was a lot easier with them because uh, obviously they were already worst in a lot of the stuff. So, So once you've uh, attached uh, the neck and so on, I would say mark it out for your fitting and uh, then I'm going to attach the sleeves on, We'd, we were talking about the problem with the sleeves now. Uh, she sent me an image of her sleeve cutting and uh, the problem that she had with her sleeve was she'd gone the cup of the sleeve and then she'd taken it really deep you know like if we lay this open and if you were to sort of take away like a couple of inches around here and that would seriously pull on the dress and I think that's the problem that she was having she'd gone and cut this so deep that um, then it's um, 
pulling. Now there is a slight, normally a slight bit of a cut, but not the, to the extent that she'd taken it. And I will address her problem separately so that you know I can fully explain. She also asked, asked, asked requested for it to be explained in Hindi. So <laughs> Hindi, I don't speak Hindi, Urdu. <laughs> It'd have to be Urdu. She must have been some Indian girl who asked. Well, Hindi and Urdu are quite similar, so. You're so likely to understand. Yeah, yeah, she'll, she'll understand in Urdu. So, that's the kind of depth that you would be cutting that. And then always notch it because uh, you don't want to attach it to the wrong side and then realize that it's pulling on the back. Now, the other thing with this sleeve, it just looks slightly tight, so I've. Uh, cut two pieces and I'm just going to attach them on the just in the armpit area because like sister Sakina mentioned comfort is what you're really trying to get out of especially out of these type of clothes you know that you're going to be living in and uh, salwar kameez is a traditional clothing but it's very very comfortable form of clothing Probably, you know, it's versatile because it's easy to work in and it's, uh, I think if people weren't afraid of uh, being stereotyped, you know what, a lot of people would prefer to wear silver kameez. They are comfortable. <laughs> because comfort wise, I don't think, you know, there are times, it is windy and so on and uh, you're wearing like a baggy salwar then you'd have a, a little bit of a problem because it'll be blowing and you'll have blow, air blowing up your legs but then a lot of the clothing has actually become more um, you know a, there's a lot of adjustments have been made with clothing so there's modifications that have taken place and I think those you know as long as you modify if you modify it to the best way possible then and don't stick to it you know like some balcony it was a traditional clothing which was suitable for somewhere like Pakistan because the climate there was really hot and so if you modified the salwar kameez to conform with the weather here then there'd be absolutely nothing wrong with it even the fabric itself if you chose the right type of fabric for making the salwar kameez so I often criticize some of the fabrics that come from uh, India, Pakistan, but they make them for that market and then that's exported here as well and uh, sometimes those fabrics don't suit the weather of these countries. But we've got so much availability now so you can explore and... I'm going to quickly take this to, so that's the made up sleeve. I'm going to just quickly take that and press it and also mark the kameez out for the fitting. <laughs> 